my name is madhur i run a center called sehat one with my father here in india which is a center for forest therapy we work with different people uh, in helping them with their uh, some diagnosed illnesses like diabetes blood pressure lifestyle diseases and all those sorts of things um in my high school i uh i was a bit disillusioned with the studies or probably i had studied too much because in india you have to study a lot in your high school and then i was looking is there something else and which got me onto a journey of taking a gap year i discovered swaraj university and experiential learning uh doing lots of projects traveling around the country seeing a lot of alternatives which inspired me that okay uh, maybe uh, later in my life i would love like to live on the land live in the forest my father um is a health scientist he is a drug discovery scientist so he was busy making new medicines and his own journey was also turning towards how can nature heal uh heal us so together 5 years ago we started the center sehat one uh which was about how can we go as close to the forest as possible and i must say i i i have grown up in a city and going there was like becoming flintstones and going to the stone age and we would make our own houses and uh, solar led electricity and for 5 years we lived without plumbing carrying our own water everywhere and grow, trying to grow our food uh, and we are very fortunate to receive a lot of lot many people around the country and also from abroad to come and stay with us for weeks work on their health um so this has been my journey um i want to share a story uh which is the story of shweta ketu from upanishads which are one of the holy books in india shweta ketu was like a topper student uh in his school the traditional gurukul and he learned about everything and he was very famous he could write very well he knew all the knowledge and one day his master tells him that now i have got all that there is to learn and uh, you can go back now so he was very proud um very proud of the graduation he goes back returns to his home his father is a big king uh and he goes with a lot of pride uh and his father is watching from the window seeing his son come back and uh he becomes sad and the son looks at the father and he gets very surprised that i i have succeeded i have become this very smart very intelligent person why is my father unhappy and he goes to his father and asks and the father says that um have you learned what cannot be taught have you learned after which there is no need to learn and um the son becomes confused and he says i've learned a lot of things and i can teach to whoever wants to learn but how can you learn something which cannot be taught so the father says no no your education is incomplete you need to go back to your master and ask him all these questions so he goes back to his master and the master uh he asks him okay so what is um how can i learn which cannot be taught and why haven't you taught me this and my father thinks i my education is completely incomplete uh so the master says that you never asked you were always following me so all that i could share i shared with you but you never inquired and now if you want to inquire it's a different journey so the uh, the student is he feels ground shaking and he feels that oh what is the use of all this knowledge teach me what is the other thing and he says okay you take we have in our gurukul around 300 animals you take them go to the deepest forest and um, when they become 1000 you come back student was very sincere so he takes all the animals and he goes very deep into the forest and um he gets hurt he figures out how to survive and um, he starts living with them um day by day he he feels that he's carrying a lot of useless knowledge in his head and of course the animals don't know how great of a scholar that he has become how many knowledges languages he knows 
and all the scriptures he knows and he keeps on feeling that the animals don't know how great i am and uh, there is no use for human communication and uh, why am i carrying all this and slowly he starts to move like them he forgets thinking about past and future uh, to the point that he actually forgets that he has to return when some day and the animals keep on growing they reproduce they become a thousand then it becomes very difficult for them to stay together and when they complain one day they complain to swetaketu that you know your master said that we have to return once we become a thousand and the time has come we should go back and he had completely forgotten uh, so he says okay let's go back so he goes back to his gurukul and his master is teaching to other disciples and he sees this big procession of animals coming in and the master becomes very excited and he says hey look see there is a thousand and one animals are coming because he sees that the swetaketu has become one with the animals and he moves freely and he uh, the pride he had the egoistic nature he had is disappeared so swetaketu comes to him and uh, master is joyous and he says oh you have uh, i think you have got it Uh, and there's no more need to come to me and chetaketu also says that yeah i've just come to return the animals and to uh, just pay my respects so this is a very famous story from um the upanishads and i really like how it um, to me it related to the title of educating for the whole being and uh, mind body and soul in hindi we have a word called the word for healthy is swasth uh, which if you break it break it down it swa plus tha swa means self and stha means situated so swasth literally translates into situated in self so you can only be swasth or healthy when you are situated in self um it's it's the most common word in hindi you see it on all the government hospitals and everywhere it's there although now it's just taken as as that if your blood pressure is normal then okay you are you are swasth uh, but to really become situated in self that has been the inspiration for us at sehat one and um now we are um uh, we have also begun working on emotional health earlier we were working with more diagnosed problems around um weight and glucose and blood pressure and all these things so we are launching we launched a project called mood forest in which um we are inviting people and participants to um come to the forest and spend time and see how that impact impacts their uh, mental health um uh, i just share something on the screen okay so living in the forest this is the mood forest model that we have uh, been following with a lot of other researchers in around the world and what we are seeing is that this disconnect two big shifts have happened in Uh, in the whole of humanity is that we have become a lot more indoor like all of us are right now and a lot of sitting so these two which are basically the dharma of the plant to sit and to grow uh, but we are animals and we are supposed to move uh, with the sitting and indoor uh, work has increased a lot we have disconnected from nature which is impacting how our body and how our dna uh, works uh and it is causing a lot of changes in our hormones and ultimately to our mood uh and it's a catch 22 situation that if you are physically emotionally the mood is off uh it impacts what you think and how you behave uh so you can look at it from the psychological level or from the bodily level but it goes keeps going in this catch 22 kind of situation uh so we find that going back uh and spending time in the forest engaging in green workouts engaging in community living and i i know all these are a lot of things which you you guys uh must be experiencing must be practicing in your own life um but we are very uh, fortunate that 
a lot many people outside of the alternatives have been coming to us and we have been able to share this with them um and uh, we are so uh, i'm working with professor geetsian from university of amsterdam who is very excited for this so together we are conducting uh, the series of studies on how uh, being in forest affects uh, emotional health for people uh, we are doing this study at our center we are also looking for other venues other programs where we can see the results so you uh, all of you are most welcome to collaborate with us and we are constantly looking for more places where we can collect the evidence for this um and uh, right now we are doing this green mind study which is a 21 day study where one week we are observing people at home uh, a week at in the forest with different activities and a week back at home and what changes are uh, going stable so this i wanted to share about my current project so yeah thank you um i couldn't i don't know if i was moderating myself at the time but i hope it was short enough